Hello guys, welcome to Inside Electronics. So in today's episode, I'm going to tear down my broken Asus Zenfone 2 lasers charger. Now, I already mentioned about what happened to this charger in my previous video. Recently, a power strike, you know, power uh, surge caused a lot of issues in my my own home and a lot of other homes around the city. It destroyed a whole lot of electronic appliances, including TVs. Uh, uh, refrigerators and things like that it created a lot of issues in my home also and also a couple of CFL bulbs uh, stabilizers and chargers LED bulbs and things like that but seriously nothing uh, got so far destructive anyways I was actually charging my phone with this particular charger when the incident is going on and actually for the first time no one in the home realized that it is a voltage spike that is causing it because like you know we were actually uh, doing the regular things that we do and only when the bulbs started to explode inside the casing itself we noticed that something wrong is is happening and when i first heard the explosion about you know in this uh, this thing exploded with a really loud bang in the hole and i just went to see what's happening here what's happening there and i forget to unplug the charger from the socket and that actually caused this thing to explode I mean this thing exploded in a different way actually this thing is leaking all over you can see the liquid is all around it still the liquid is all around it if you take a look at inside the USB cable you can find the liquid and it smells kind of transformer oil kind of smell I mean uh, you know the typical burnt electronics smell that you get when you when the magic smoke escape from it that's the kind of smell that you can you are getting from this thing and it is completely wet it's like it's like you know someone has poured water over this it's like completely wet and everything i touch i cleaned the outer for using some cotton because you know otherwise i couldn't even really take that here with my hands it was covered in some kind of gooey gunk it's it's like oil it's not like water it's like oil it's not easily rub off from your hands and it smells really bad so anyways this charger is actually 8 months old and this thing let me show you the rating for this thing this thing is actually a 5 volt 1 amps 5.2 volt 1 amp charger and that there is the model number this charger is original asus made well probably asus made anyways asus branded charger that is usually you get when you buy a new asus phone and i'm using this with the Zenfone 2 laser which is what I'm using to record this video right now and the way this charger comes out is really easy if you and you can already see the way I started to tear this thing down and I actually took uh, it, you actually need a fine tip screwdriver like this one and you need to first thing you need to do is just insert the screwdriver oh, it's some time things happen and you first need to insert the screwdriver into the sides of it and just wiggle it you know just to make things uh, free and then what you have to do is you have to get a fine tip screwdriver and insert it right here in the in the portion like that see that see that happening and just wiggle it apart and it will come apart really simple that's the way you need to tear apart tear down you know take apart your Zenfone 2 case and inside you can see see that it's completely wet inside that is not the reflection that is causing it that is the liquid causing the ref that sort of reflection see that's not the plastic that is causing that reflection I don't want to touch that because that is covered in that transformer oil kind of thing if I show you guys that see see that fluid on my hand that thing over there is completely filled with the tra the oil and it it smells really bad Ugh. That is really bad smelling and that is a circuit board that they are using inside and let's take the circuit board out and see what kind of damage has it gone through. I can already see the fluid all around it's not it's not the fluid I guess so let's take that board and see see that see that guys that is the fluid right there that is not see that is like water inside that is not good that is not good at all see that 
and that happened because of that see the capacitor that capacitor is only rated for like for, that is that is really bad it's a 400 volt rated capacitor and still it exploded I mean when that incident happened when I looked at a voltmeter that is uh, that was turned off at the moment but when some then things started, started going popping I turned on the voltmeter and it was like 400 volts which is double of what usually is here in India the uh, normal voltage is around 220 volts so it's like double the voltage but still these capacitors are rated for four Ugh, my hands are getting really wet these capacitors are rated for 400 volts but it still didn't made it maybe it's because I left it in the plug socket without unplugging for so long that it ho gets hot and it's just vented out you can see the vent hole of that particular capacitor over there is completely open if I can show you that see that crack right there it's completely open the capacitor is empty the entire fluid has been uh, you know flooded right through and take a look at the inductor right there these two capacitor and the inductor they're using a pi filter I'm guessing they they might have they might be using a pi yes they are using a pi filter the flows goes to here and then goes to there so they are using a pi filter configuration to give the smoothest uh, filtered thing to the transistor and the inductor is completely gone it's like see I will definitely cut my hand after this video so yeah that's the top damage on top still see the liquid over there that is ugh. I really like the way they use axial USB cables like that look at the way they actually folded the pins to the circuit board that is a really nice design right there I really like that see that and this capacitor seems to be okay it's a 470 microfarad I think 470 microfarads and take a look at the bottom side before that let me take a look at the transformer and they're actually using a proper trans they're using double insulated wires these kind of wires are known as double insulated wire because they have additional plastic coating on top of the already enameled copper wire and look at the separation between the high voltage side and the low voltage side they got more than it's like more than uh, three or four centimeters of insulation right there and there is no feedback going on so it's entirely depending on the primary side regulation I'm guessing this is the low voltage side and there is no feedback I'm not seeing any kind of feedback unless it is hidden somewhere beneath but that looks like a diode for me that thing looks like a diode for me I'm not seeing any kind of feedback coming back to the primary side they might they definitely have to be sensing it on the primary side yeah they definitely are sensing the load from the primary side itself and speaking of the build quality oops I just dropped my camera speaking of build quality see that over there that is really good and they even have anti-tracking slots over here that is really good these are the burnt components looks like some resistors and capacitors probably a diode this diode might have been blown these resistors have gone bad and you know the typical high voltage spike things so all the build quality of Asus chargers are really good there is adequate separation between the high voltage and low voltage side the transformer winding looks absolutely good and you can De definitely tell that even without un you know undoing all the coils just because of that double insulated wire you can be you can be you know you can very much tell that this thing is safe so yeah basically that's it that is what's inside a genuine Sanphone charger let me see if I can find any date codes on it not seeing any kind of date codes at all say side B uh, yeah that's that's a fusible resistor of 10 ohms round black black is a 10 ohm resistor over there and it's really funny that the entire thing exploded but the fuse is still intact that's really funny about it
<laughs> yeah anyways i just forgot to mention that we didn't take a look at what transistor is this thing using you know we take a, we looked at everything else but we forgot to take a look at what the transistor is and there it is it is 13003 which is a really 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 common transistor that you can find in almost you know a, a, a wide variety of switching applications in fact you can find that thing right there right there inside that that cfl this is cfl bulb circuit board you can see that is 13003d this thing is 13003a and in fact let me see where that thing is okay that is did you guys remember this one if you haven't watched the video about this one i can link it up there and this is a charger that i bought for 15 rupees yeah 15 rupees which is 0 0.2 us dollars i think and see what transistor that thing is using see that 13003a so this 15 the charger that is only 15 rupees worth is using the exact same transistor as a genuine asus charger is using and that transistor is this exact same one that you can find on a cfl board so basically that is <laughs> that is the way things go on you're getting the same things on different brand names and you are giving the price for it anyways you can find the data sheet for all these things not these things but the data sheet for the 13003 and if i can find the information about this chip i you can i will actually attach it down in the description below so yeah a quick uh, update thanks